Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths video on doing translations. Now a translation is just one of the four uh, main types of transformation. So we've got uh, translations, we've got reflections, we've got rotations and we've got enlargements. Now a translation is, is when we just shift the shape uh, without rotating or enlarging it. So it's just a movement of the shape without otherwise changing it. And the way we describe a translation is using um, a vector. So a vector is just a way of describing a movement. So that top number describes the change in the x value of the shape and the bottom number is the change in the y value of the shape. So we've got the shape A here and we want to translate that shape by 2, 1. So let's just take a particular point on A, doesn't matter as long as we're consistent, we're going to choose that right angle here and we want to first translate that point by 2, 1. So the top number says that the x value is changing by 2, i.e. 2 up. So that x value of 2 is going to go up to 4, so the x value is now here and the y value is changing by 1, so that means an increase of 1. So we can see the y value is going to go up by 1, so we're now going to be here. So we can see 2 right and 1 up because the change in x changed y. And now we can fill in the rest of the shape because we know that point goes to there. We can just copy the rest of the shape from that point like that and let's label it B as per the instructions. And there we go, that's our first translation. What about the second question? Translate A by minus 4, 2. So if we take this point again, the x value is changing by minus 4. So the x value is decreasing by 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm here. And the y value is changing by 2, so increasing by 2. So 1, 2, it's there. And then again, we just draw the rest of the shape. So that's going right by 2. It's going up by 1 here. And then like that, and that's C. And then finally, question 3, translate A by 3 minus 4. So starting from this point again, the x value is changing by 3, an increase of 3, 1, 2, 3, and then the y value is changed by minus 4, so a decrease of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's here, and then if we just draw that shape from that point, so going right, then up, and then like that, and we label it D, and that is it.